Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this bonus news update video I've once again just found something on one of the forums online and I wanted to share it straight with you. So what we've got here, this is JT Prime and this is his list. He manages to find the EN numbers and he manages to let us know what is going to be expected for the rest of this year. So you can see here I've got this list from TFW 2005. I've got some screenshots and I'm going to go through with them right now. So they're broken up into two. We've got Legacy Evolution and then we've got Studio Series as well. So this is from Legacy Evolution and this is looking really interesting. We've got Scar, we've got Swoop, we've got Starscream in a package refresh and we've got Grimlock. All these are the core class figures. The deluxe ones are the ones that we pretty much know about. We've seen the, well, we've been told about these by Hasbro Direct, which is great. So we've got Beachcomber, Devcon, Axel Grease, I presume is the other one of the... Um, uh, Junkians and we've got a Tarantulas package refresh. Voyager we've got Nemesis Leo again we were told about that and indeed we were told about Dirge. Really excited for them. Armada oh, Megatron and I suppose the surprising one is Blitzwing in a package refresh because at the moment in the UK especially that's not selling too well. Moving on to Wave 4 for October and the rest of the year. Core class, and this is the rest, of course, of Volcanicus. We've got Snarl. We've got Optimus Prime in a package refresh. That will be, obviously, because we've just had Nemesis. Sludge and Slug in a refresh. Deluxe is Shadow Striker, Strong Arm. Bombshell, of course, the missing Insecticon. And Detritus, who is, of course, another one of the Junkians. Voyager looks like we've got Junkian times two. And, indeed, Bludgeon. Now, I'm hoping that Bludgeon's not going to be a straight-up lead echo of Tarn but I wouldn't be too surprised. But leader, Prime Dreadwing, that's again obvious because we've just had Skyquakes. So that is going to be a redeco, I would imagine. And again, Laser Optimus Prime in a package refresh, which is a bit surprising because, again, he's not selling too well in the UK at the moment. So that's for Legacy Evolution. Not only has he got that, he's also got updated breakdowns for Studio Series as well. So this is the movies. So TF3 Bumblebee, what this is going to be, obviously... Uh, TF3 was Transformers Dark of the Moon. It was the third movie. I'm imagining it's just going to be a redeco of the Laserbeak figure. Um, and of course, Studio Series 86 Ironhide Core Class will just be a redeco of the Ratchet. War for Cybertron Cliff Jumper. Now, we believe this is to do with the game, not the most recent ones we've just had. 86 Brawn at Deluxe is the most exciting one that's standing out there for me at the moment and then we've got a tf7 bumblebee which is of course the new movie and again with rhinox and a war for cybertron megatron so tf7 is the latest movie because it's the seventh in the continuity of the movies this is where we get really interesting now towards the end of the year um some of them have still got their um code name so i apologize i've forgotten what delta and hydra are in rise of the beasts but what i'm more excited about is and again some of them are really obvious we've got of course core class frenzy from studio series 86 that'll just be a redeco of rumble there of course is tf7 delta and hydra tf3 bumblebee again is going to be repackaged nightbird we've seen in the movie and mirage these are going to have deluxe figures with war for cybertron bumblebee this is where it gets interesting studio series 86 ratchet will of course be the redeco of ironhide so they're just swapping them over we're going to be able to have core and voyager class of both but look at the bottom that's what's really important well it is for me studio series 86 snarl looks like it's going to be released towards the end of the year november time if you want to check this list out it's on tfw 2005 i imagine by the time i've posted this video it'll be on tformers and everywhere else as well and jt prime when he gets his list he normally never gets them wrong what are you most excited about let me know in the comments guys take care